that the next few days and this weekend in particular could be could be very big for you. The uh, the Super Sprint, Weatherby Super Sprint down at Newbury, targeted with Ventura Rebel. How's he? He's in absolute tip-top shape. We're, uh, we're, 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 we're very happy with him. Um, uh, without being disrespectful of the race, it, it is the easier option for, for him. Uh, he was in the Papan, which in, in real terms should have probably been his target. But, you know, the, the Super Sprint is a, is a wonderful race and we've been very lucky in it. And I don't know, trainers are creatures of habit. I think we've won it three out of the last six, which, which to be fair, is is a good record and I think we were first and second and fourth one year so uh, it is a race we target. He's probably the best quality horse I've ever run in it now so he's, 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 he's a pretty smart horse and Ascot sort of sort of showed that he, he had a fair amount of ability and since Ascot we've been very pleased with him. I'll be, I'll be disappointed if he gets beat but we'll see. You've got a few others in there as well. Uh, Bailey's in Bloom, Bond's Boy, Mighty Spirit, Show Me, Show Me. Mighty Spirit, I think, is the most likely of those to line up, isn't he? Yeah, she runs. Uh, we've four runners in it. Um, Mighty Spirit would probably, on figures, be second best in the race. Um, take Ventura Rebel out, I think she'd be favourite now. Um, but she, she's a tough, very genuine filly. and I mean, she, she is a maiden, but she was sort of second in the Mary Gate and ran well in the Queen Mary. You know, solid form like that going into a super sprint is is, is good. Uh, Bailey's in bloom, was second the other day at Catrick. She's got a bit of find on, on figures. And show me, show me. Been a little bit disappointed, the Brocklesby winner, but uh, he blotted his copy book by not going in the stalls at, in the Windsor Castle. So, But he's in great order. Look, I'm, I'm not saying it's a it's a one-horse race, because you can never say that in a 20-odd runner hand, er, race, 20-odd runner race. But uh, look, if Ventura Rebel turns up, he'll be tough to beat. Uh, Mr Lupton, is he on the way to the Curra for the Minstrel Stakes? Uh, he's got a couple of entries. He's, he's in the. I've always wanted to try him over seven. He won a sales race as a two-year-old over six and a half, the Doncaster race. And I've been trying in the back of my mind for, for two years to run him over seven. But I've also got him in, in the five furlong race on the Sunday. I haven't decided where he'll go. I'd say he'll probably run on Saturday in the, in the seven furlong race. Uh, George Bowen in the Scottish Stewards Cup at Hamilton tomorrow. How's he? What do you, how'd you rate his chances? Yeah, he, he won the race last year and I think he broke the track record. Um, if, he, if he turns up in that form, he, you know, he'll, he'll run a big race. But he's a little bit out of sorts. Uh, he's been running all right on the all-weather and his last two runs have been a little bit disappointing. So he needs to bounce back. And, and just another couple of others, uh, sort of stable stars, if you like. Forest Ranger, last seen winning Group 2 at Chester in May. How's he? He's in great order. Um, he had a, a, a little setback, but look, this has been the target for him. Um, he's got a Group 2 penalty, which, which won't make it easy, but we, we've never had him as well. So he runs in the Sky Bet, now oh, then they call it Sky Bet Stakes at York on the 27th. ex -Hort. As well, she got the better of Guineas winner, Bilsden Brook, last time. How's she? Yeah, it was great to see her win. Um, we sort of always felt she was a black type filly, but she's been a sort of slow burning type filly that's just needed things to drop right. They went a good gallop the other day there, and it, it, it suited her, and she came home well. I'd say she'll head to uh, Sandown for the Atlanta, I think, in August. So we, we've got black type with her, which, to be fair to Chris, um, he backed me when I told her the keeper was a four-year-old there that I thought she'd get black type, but she's been placed twice and, and won now. So if we can get any more, it'll be fantastic. And sort of overall, are you happy with the, the general form of the string and how things are going? Yeah, they are. It's, it's sort of a transition year for us at the moment. Uh, we've had a lot of retired stars this year. When I say stars, sort of Kimberella was retired, Alban Starr's retired, third time Lucky's retired, Gabriel's retired. Heaven's guest is retired. Now, when you take sort of five or six hardened warriors like that out of your string, it, it makes it a bit difficult for for the big days. I mean, out of all them, I think there's there's uh, there's definitely a Lincoln winner. There's a, an international winner twice. There's a Cambridgeshire winner in that. You know, they were they were good horses now, and uh, so it's just left us a little bit short on on quality for the for the big big handicaps and the listed races, but. Look, it's all about turnover and, and trying to find the next stars like them lads, because they were stars, them horses. Uh, I mean, Kilimbrella, what did he win? He won the City city Wall. I mean, I think between them, the I could say they've probably won over two million. So uh, you could imagine it's a big hole in the string when, when we're not able to pull them out on a weekend. But look, it's onwards and upwards and trying to find the, the horses to replace them. But it, 
it's been a bit of a shock now in the system when, when we don't have them boys knocking around the place, you know. Let's hope that Space Traveller and a few others can fill that void for you. Cheers, you can stand. Thanks. Thank you.